great job this season, Mitch Creek. <laughs> Came to the Sixers eight years ago. Extremely encouraging signs for the club. You know, I'm super proud to call myself a 36er. What are you going to take away from this? How not to get blocked about, <laughs> get squashed about five times. You just learn so much watching the pace and the tempo guys play out. There's a lot of learning curves to come out of this. I can't wait to get home and start training again. Still got a long way to go. He's been our true warrior and our backbone all year. Every coach needs someone that they can hold everybody else accountable to. Let's go! Let's go! Guys got to run and fight like Creaky does. You got to, you know, be able to guard multiple positions like Creaky does. You got to come in a little bit, be willing to sacrifice and give yourself up like Creaky does. So just to see how hard he works and how much he, he puts in, and there's not a lot of players around him in the world that do what he does. To lose a basketball game because the other team was mentally there more than you were, it's, it's a tough one. It, it really is. You know, you walk back in that change room and, and you look around and you, you see that your teammates are in tears and, you know, you're hugging each other and, you, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Proud of this dude and what he, what he gives us. He's been great for us. Uh, I'm looking forward to his development and success. I think he does have a you know, an outside opportunity to really make some noise at a higher level. You know, the opportunity to play Summer League for a second time is something that, you know, I'm always going to be grateful for. And so I think this year's going to be a good year for me to actually go out there and, and showcase exactly what I can do. Creek, one of the Australians on the roster. You know, I feel that I'm good enough and I can play in this league and I can make these teams better. You start to think about the two-way contracts, you start to think about the potential of being a Dallas Maverick or an NBA player at this level. You know, for me, I dream about it every day. You know, this whole process is, for me, to try and get to my dream. And, you know, realistically, I was a fortunate kid that, that never thought he'd be here in the, in the big smoke of Vegas running around with, you know, number one draft picks. So, you know, it's a new day. Just trying to get better every single day. And right now, um, you know, I've got to, a step to take in the right direction, I'm going to do everything I can to do that. There's a two-way contract on the line, and it's going to take everything I have to go out there and compete at a high level and show you know, the world, especially the guys here at the Dallas Mavericks and every other team that's watching, that uh, you know, I've got what it takes. You know, for me it was awesome. Uh, it makes me feel really good and like all that hard work's playing off. You know, I've been kind of told that you know, if I consistently you know, keep doing what I'm doing and playing solid games, then um, my obviously the chance to get this two way and whatever else follows with it um, increases. So, the Lord's Royce, I mean, this never was going to happen. All in all, I think I played a really solid week. Uh, I did everything I felt I needed to on and off the court, and you know, I've given it absolutely everything. So, regardless of what the outcome is, I'm going to be proud, I'm going to be really happy. You know, it's such a surreal feeling to, to come over here to play with you know, an actual NBA organization and you know, put yourself to the, the ultimate test. and. You know, for me, I feel like I did a really good job um, you know, on the court and off the court. I feel that you know what I wanted to showcase and the things I wanted to do and put on display, I did really well. You know, for me to look back now and think that I played eight years professionally in Australia and then finished a season in Germany, that is something that I'll always remember and why I'm here today. You know, I was a horseman kid that never thought he could be this fast. This is my life. You know, I devote every single aspect of my time to this game. You know, for me it's an opportunity to, to try and showcase my talents and my uh, skills on an international stage. Uh, I feel like I've held myself at, in a pretty high standard in Australia and, and just in Europe a little bit at the end of the season. Wow, just busting it up to floor, that was big time. Mitch Creek leading the way early for the Nets. I don't think you really need any motivation, it's the NBA. Um, it's the highest level of competition you can play in, uh, in the sport of basketball, and it's a beautiful game it is. So, you know, for me to try and you know, work on my craft and get better every single day, uh, that's all I'm trying to do. And if I can impress the Mavs and potentially get on a roster here or, or anywhere in the NBA, uh, it'll be a dream, a dream come true. But in saying that, that's only a step in the right direction. You've still got to then you know, participate, compete, and obviously win games. So that's the biggest thing.
Mitch, good evening. How are you feeling? How you doing? Good, good. Good. Calling you with some good news. Letting you know the coaches decided to get, that they, we need a player for a 10-day starting on Friday, and they've, they've chosen you. So get ready to suit up for the Brooklyn Nets on Friday, buddy. No. Receiving that news was, was, was arguably the best thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, it just goes to show that you know countless hours of hard work and dedication and sacrifice can really lead to any dreams becoming a reality. I'm, I'm super excited for you, man. You've earned it. You've been all about what we're about here with your character, your grit, your hard work, and your perseverance, man. We're uh, super excited to have you here on Friday and uh, incredibly fortunate to have you as part of this organization. Mitch Creek. 6'5", 215 pounds, signing his 10-day contract, and Mitchell Creek will make his NBA debut. I was upset, I was happy, I was excited, I was nervous. They chose Mitchell Creek, and Mitchell Creek is on the board. He's the first Aussie to play for the Nets franchise. And it was extraordinary to see as we saw the reaction of his family. Mason, imagine you getting grown up in Adelaide and telling your mom, I want to play in the NBA. To see his dream realized, uh, she has a grin on her face that will never go away, she said. Drive and kick. Creek doesn't take it. Creek does flip. Mitch Creek, his first NBA bucket. What a reaction. What a moment. Every time I get out there, I know what I'm playing for. I know my family's watching and, you know, the country's watching and they're proud of, you know, just the achievement of, of getting to an international stage. Um, for me, that's not enough, though. You know, I want to get out there and I want to assert my dominance on the court on both ends, uh, starting at the defensive end. And Boy, look at that. And that's great to see all your teammates just happy for you getting that opportunity. It doesn't matter, matter how the opportunity comes, but players are genuinely happy when you see a guy like that work so hard to get an opportunity. It's hard not to get teary-eyed, considering the journey the voyage for Creek to get to this spot in his basketball career.